Hi, everybody. All right, so Monday you saw me sort of finagle what the center stack is going to be like and uh, fit it into the, well, into the faceplate for the center. In this video, we're taking, we're starting by taking those three racks from the last video. Uh, go back and check that out. Now, they're all taped together, so what I'm doing is we're placing them into the center stack of the panel here, and we're going to be drilling out the holes so that they can be uh, secured to the panel, which is which is sweet. Okay, so the way that that happens is all of these racks have beveled holes that you drill out, and then you use countersunk screws uh, placed from the inside through the rack and through whatever retaining wall you might have on the side. You can obviously see the two uh, here in the panel there. And then washers on the back side to lock it in place, right? So each, each rack has two screws on both sides right by the front plates. And then they usually have at least one or two uh, places for screws in the back so that you can secure it from flopping around, right? Uh, three points makes a plane, as we all remember from geometry, so you want to have at least three on each side, right? Because you could have the two screws by the front on each side, but that's still not going to secure the back, so if any of the screws are loose, you know, it, would, it could flop around. Or, because there's no screws in the back to keep it from flopping around as you are bumping around in the sky, there will be a lot of force as the uh, weight of the back of the whatever avionics piece that is will be free to swing and thus loosen up the front screws. So you want to do all the screws that you can. And here you can see me. So I've already drilled a couple holes here. Um, it's it's not too terribly get, difficult to get to, though I will go ahead and pre-warn you that you will be taking them off. I've been using uh, nylon washers, or nylon nuts, and that's great. Uh, had doing it over again, I would have just gotten some plain washers as uh, just temporary workarounds because you will be taking these on and off a lot. Okay, so you might be wondering about the blue painter's tape. I think I explained it in the last video. So once you have the avionics lined up with the front panel piece, <coughs> pardon me, is that you want all the three racks to basically be locked in place, right? They've got little feet on them, which when, and, and they're on the top and the bottom of the racks, and when you line those up, it creates a space in between the avionics for air to pass through. You really want that. So once all that's lined up just perfectly, and you've got it where you want it, tape it up, secure it in place. Then transfer that over to the plane, as you see me doing here, so that when you drill and endlessly put screws on and off, uh, it all lines up, right? So that's that's what the tape's for. All right, uh, I got a quick rant. As you see me drilling more holes here, uh, to we're, 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 I'm going to start calling this segment "stupid pilot tricks." So in the last version of it, we had pilots that weren't qualified to fly the planes they were in, uh, didn't know the avionics. That was always fun. Today we're going to talk about something simple. Uh, Third piece on the checklist, right? What's the first piece? AROW, right? Airworthiness, re registration, operator's manual, and weight and balance. It's easy. Second thing on the list. Oh, wait. No, I'm sorry. Second thing on the list is, oh, what's the tack time? Please verify that the tack time of the plane that you're about to fly is the same as what's in the flight system. How hard is that? Glance down, look at the thing. Oh, yeah. It's the same tack time. We had someone fly the other day. And when they entered their intact, they did it incorrectly. Perfectly honest mistake. We're doing these, you know, we have our electronic system and you can access it from your phone. People fat finger stuff all the time, me included. They put in one hour wrong, right? They, they saw eight, they accidentally entered a seven. Tack time's off by an hour. Did the next pilot catch it? No. Did the pilot after that catch it? No. Did the pilot after that catch it? Yes. So it took three pilots for someone to uh, to actually notice. So that's a lot of fun for me. Because now, because three people have entered their tack wrong, even though the amount of hours they flew were correct, we still have to go back and correct the original tack and then update the subsequent tacks for each one of the flights. And because, and what happened was, instead of trying to 
instead of putting their correct amount of hours in, a couple of pilots decided after we had discovered that the tack was wrong to instead alter their tack time to make the tack work. Which t doesn't make any damn sense. I just it, the whole thing is confusing. It, the, the more I, I do this job, the more I'm surprised that there aren't tiny little planes stuck out of the sides of buildings and or hills all over the place. We are hairless apes in flying machines. Alright, so we've pretty much got them locked in place. Uh, those back screws, as you can see there, can be a little bit difficult to get to. I've got a tiny little 90 degree screwdriver, which you need. Now that these are in place, you can see the avionics slide right on in. All right, so now we can start doing the wiring, which is great. So have a great week, everyone. Uh, this weekend, you're going to watch me because now that the center panel's in, it's go time with the wires. So thanks for joining me, everyone. See you soon.